The same opium poppy that people make heroin out of is the same opium poppy people make muffins and bagels out of. But the idea that poppy seeds could serve as a source of appreciable amounts of codeine morphine was not given much credence, despite the existence of the old European custom recommending to quiet a noisy baby by means of a poppy seed-filled pacifier, not given much credence until a mother tried giving her six-month-old some strained milk she had boiled some poppy seeds in with the very best intentions of helping the child sleep better. It worked a little too well, culminating in respiratory arrest leading to governmental warnings that it's not a good idea. The cases aren't limited to children. Evidently, if you eat spaghetti with a half cup of poppy seeds on top, it can make you a little loopy. Uh, so what's the upper limit of poppy seed consumption that's probably safe? About a teaspoon for every seven pounds of body weight. So that means someone weighing about 150 pounds or 70 kilos should probably not eat more than seven tablespoons of raw poppy seeds at a time. Cooking may wipe out half of the morphine and codeine, though, so that gives you some more leeway when baking. And if you soak the seeds for five minutes first and then discard the water before adding them to your recipe, you can eliminate another half if you're making some poppy seed-filled pastry or something for kids. Otherwise, though, there shouldn't be any risk at usual levels of intake unless you're going in for a drug test, in which case you may want to avoid poppy seeds altogether.